Hello everyone, welcome to watch our stream today. Today we are going to try out this gunfire reborn and we will take you to have a look of this game. It is a FPS plus roguelite and RPG game developed by Doi Interactive. So we can we can see in this game here is the stage one. It kind of looks like you are in a dungeon, and you will you will use your you will have a basic weapon here. We can see it has unlimited ammo here, and this crossbow man. Each time you kill it, you will get a poker and ammo. Heavy crossbow man definitely has more MP than the the shorter one. By the way, in this game, uh, besides you use the weapon, you also can combine it with your primary skill and your secondary skill. It can help you kill kill the enemies much faster. And this woodpecker looks 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 really cool, like a sniper. After you finish each level, you can open a chest which you will, will grant you ascension. Ascension is kind of like things you can improve your hero's ability. In this case, I will choose this this one. Now we enter the second level. We can use the scope for this wood pattern weapon. And watch out this grenade. They they can throw those grenades far away to far away. So especially those grenades can really hurt hurt you. So be careful of it. So we can see there are many types of enemies here. Like some some enemies like grenadier can fire fire at a lot far far away from you. And some like the spearman will have a close combat with you. For this hero, um, the primary skill you you need to press this, and it can lock lock the enemies and also deal some damage to them. This tiger cannon. This tiger cannon. This this one is actually my favorite one. We can check it out. You see, yeah, one shot kills the enemy instantly, and. Every time you, you see he, he, there is a glowing wall, and you, you can shoot it and enter a hidden level. Here. Hidden level usually will grant you some additional prize, something like a cross of course. Use this one. One one shot you see almost kill almost kill one enemy. <laughs> you have to evade that attack. So in in the hidden level you can also get uh, a cross draw after after you ch challenge the seed. And for also for each stage, you can also get a golden goblet, which you can choose an ascension, which will improve your hero's ability. Now we enter the stage three here. use the kill, you can use the small grenade, which will cause some damage, consistent damage to these enemies. And you see, that that's why I like that guy, you see, when you kill one enemy, it will fly away or something like that. 
and every sometimes you can meet the craftsman in the game. It's kind of like some gunsmith in other game. Like you can increase your weapon's damage. You see here we can increase, enhance our weapon's damage. Here is another wall here. This, this gun I'm using right now in it is a it is a three sh three shot first rifle. Um, the magazine is larger than the usual rifle and the damage is decent. And it, I think it is a good choice for you to fight against these normal enemies. Charlie succeed. This ammo belt, yeah, I like it. Especially watch out this bomber. Even you kill it, it will, it will still bomb. So it may hurt you if you are very close to it. Yeah. Sometimes when you use the primary skill and secondary skill together, y you, it is really easy for you to kill this enemy. Very efficient. And you see something like the barriers in the game. When the enemies are close to the barrier, shoot the barrier. It, it can explode and kill the enemy. The, the experience is really intense. The combat is really intense. This gun it has much larger magazine. It looks like a machine gun. Let's try it out. Oh, we can see in this hidden level there are some rolling stones here. In this case, you have to e evade this rolling stone because if you get hit by it, you see, you will you it will lose your it will decrease your shield or your HP. So be very careful. Find the right time to pass this, uh, or you will in this case get killed. However, each time, the first time if you get killed in the game, you can still revive yourself. But you can only revi revive only once, so try not get yourself killed. I will choose this one. So in this game you can you can choose many ascension like choose choose the one that fits your combat style. Like if you are you like to use you like maybe you like more like using grenadier or sometimes or sometimes you might be a better rifler. You can you can choose the choose the combination by yourself so you can the one that fits your combat style you feel the most uh, most comfortable with. This weapon looks very cool. I will I will use this. One. You see, it, it kind of looks like a dragon bomb here. Oh, this little guy. Challenge succeed. I think we are almost to the final final stage. Yeah, you see, it, it is why I say before you use you need to um, shoot those barriers can sometimes kill those enemies if they are near it. So 
don't get into those red zones, you see. Or you, you may also get... A good strategy to fight against so many, so many enemies is that you kill those ones uh, that is easier and try to avoid avoid their attack. You see this one, horse head, horse head, horse head one. They had a really really few shield before then. Basically, you you can damage it when you shoot at the shield. You have to like go around it or go to the back of it. And this longbow man, they 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 shoot a really really accurate arrow. So, and very powerful. Sometimes I I think it, one shot of it will end the shield. So you have to be very alert and avoid their attack. And don't forget each time if you get kill this one things to collect those ammo. And in, in, this, in this game, sometimes you will also meet this peddler where you can buy something with the coins you get from the game. You can even buy some new weapons here. You can refill your ammo, refill your grenade, and refill your health. So in this vault, there are some fire here so you you have to like find the right time to cross it or you may also get killed by it and you have to fight against these monsters in, in, in such a close close Finish the hidden level, you can get a cost scroll like this. Let's check it out. What is this? Mm. I think this one, this one is better. Now we enter the yeah, we enter the final stage. Eternal Palace. So. We can. Oh, we have the full health now. We we will have some more grenades here and enhance the damage of our. Let's check it out. What is the first boss of this game? This boss. So it has eight. 80,000 HP and 8,000 shield, which is, which is a really tough of call. Oh, you, you have to avoid this attack. Sometimes it will... You can also... Each time when you empty the shield, it will go back to the mountain and recharge its shield. So, you have to make sure like you kill it as much as possible before you went back to the mountain. Because we have used our chance to revive before, I, I think we we don't have chance. Yeah, we don't have chance to revive again. We have to we have to play a, again. So after each battle, you can there is a talent tree here. You can use the thing you get from the game and to increase your abilities here. It, so the, here is kind of the. RPG elements in this game. Let's let's try it out to see if we can pass the 
first box in this case, in this one. The second time we enter this stage one, we have a totally different map than before. This weapon, this weapon you cannot actually, you can actually cannot refill the ammo yourself. It will automatically refill it when you are not using this weapon big smoke i will get this one now let's get the next stage grenade i think this monster grenade sometimes you see it has low hp but it is really a threatening enemy because their grenades sometimes when you are you, when you don't aware of the grenades, it might it might get empty your whole shield. Yeah. Also, some you you can uh, sometimes keep these things around. You can get your refill and your ammo refill. It's pretty easy, like in the first two stages with the, with the weapons that you like. Let's try out this. This one we haven't seen it before. It has plus 50 lucky, lucky shot chance, which means that if you shoot the head of the enemy, you will get critical damage, like larger, larger damage. It's always like much more better if you can shoot the head of the enemy. It will you, you can has a you can have a much larger damage over it. And you see the small grenade very effective against those small enemies. Little guy, show crossbow man. Each time you just need to try try to evade their attack, understand each enemy's like their different attack style, then it will be easy for you to cut the first monster. You have to actively uh, be very uh, familiar with the skill of the player of different heroes so you can combine them kill the enemies much more efficiently. We I guess we have finished. We we also will have this um this chest Sometimes you can use the coins to exchange for something like here. I use the coins to exchange for a cross scroll last stand. Killing them, killing, ki shooting those barriers is really, really, really effective against a bunch of. Portal has opened. This weapon, this weapon is cool. Power source. I will choose this one. And get some something here. Buy this one. 
Oh, we are in stage 4 now. Almost we can meet the boss again. Sometimes you can also get the account scroll randomly when you kill those enemies, even if they are normal enemies. And sometimes like in this kind of gold chest, like when you you can use your coins to exchange for some abilities, you can also exchange like in this, this, in this case I exchange 35 of my health for additional coins. Hidden level, hidden level. You can choose not to enter the, this vault. It, it will not affect you. But if you enter this vault, you can get some account scrolls, which may be helpful for you. To uh, especially like in the final final stage, you can get some ability. gain some boost. Lombo man is always, I think it is the largest threat in the stage 4. Horsehead, Horsehead is kind of, uh, kind of clumsy, I would say. Though it looks really tall, really strong, but it is really slow too. And its damage is not that powerful as the Lombo. Stage four, you will you will see a lot of much more enemies than the previous round, and many enemies of different combat style. You have to you have to smartly choose the your priority. You see, we may not be more possible. Once you get back to with the shield, you will you can you can kill them much more efficiently with your secondary skill and your primary skill. And by the way, when these enemies are in this fight, they will get hurt. So sometimes you don't want to say you didn't see them clearly you can wait for them to come to you maybe when they come before you they already have the they already have a le very low hp so we clear the stage four and we are about to enter the boss run in the first map let's pick one Here we are, we are back here. Get some increased enhancement of our weapons. Let's re mm. refill my health and ammo. I think I'm ready for this. Lulu, I think it is a, it is an Asian mythology oriental monster which has a tiger head and tiger head. And when you kill the when you focus on the boss, don't forget to there may be some small enemies around. Then may distract your attention. The best way to kill the boss is to shoot his head, use your skill. You can see, like in this case, if you use your primary skill, you can not block the boss like It will instantly break your lock. Shoot his head. 
jump will empty your shield completely now we finally we finally beat this boss get stun like like other level get stun or cause growth and and the um, ascension now we let's head to the second map So before you enter the first stage, you can refi refill your health there. This map you see really has really different things than before than the one before. In the desert, and the enemies are also more powerful here. This 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 pistol is really one of my favorite ones it has the fire damage can cause the consistent damage over the enemy and if it's reload it's really cool in the desert this, this enemy will move much faster so you, you, you really need to Focus all your mind on them, unlike the first one. Oh, and this rock brilliant. The one that can fire, fire the spray. Really powerful, really strong. This one is kind of like the longbowman in the first map, I think. Uh, this challenging event requires me to cross this stage. I think. Oh, I think I don't. I can't make it. Challenge failed. Try to jump there in this case. In in this case, when you jump, when you when you are in the air, you need to dash. Use the ship to dash forward, so you can jump over it. Oh, it's it's kind of difficult for me to jump over. This time, drop here. Oh, almost get it again. <laughs> I, I know. Let's see if we can do it this time. If we can't, I may I may go back. I may go back to our previous entrance. Because it's it's kind of very difficult for me to pass it. Still cannot get. Most get over it. Or I, I, I will not go, go there. This time. I will go back to our entrance. This
bag of wool, right? When each time you see this enemy with the blue it must be very, very special. Uh, I, I think I, we cannot pass this round, and we will, we will stream up here. So everything. Let let me in, improve my talents here first. I hope you guys enjoy this stream, and hope you guys now have a first impression on this game, and it is now available on Steam now. And here is the here is the hero introduction here. What we used before is this one, Prince Prince. This one, this one I'll buy. It's locked for now. You have to reach talent thirty. So we can see the weapons we have. Unlock here. This this game provides lots of weapons from SMG, include SMG pistol, rifle, and sniper. So you got many choices. And I hope you guys enjoy this stream. And you can find out more, explore more when you get into this game. This game is already available on Steam now, and. Uh, we will see you next time.